Okay, so number nine, so you're adding and subtracting polynomials. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get rid of the parentheses, okay? And so everything in the first set of parentheses stays the exact same. So that's gonna be 5b to the power of four minus 5b minus 2b cubed. Now, the next set of parentheses, this minus sign right here only pertains to that middle, middle set of numbers. So we're distributing the negative just, oops, I said negative, just to these two right here, okay? So it's gonna be minus 4b to the power of four and then minus 7b. This plus sign only goes with these numbers. So then that's gonna be minus b, I know my b's look like sixes, uh, minus four and minus two b cubed. <clears throat> okay, then we're gonna go through and we're gonna look for like terms. So anything with the power of four, I'm going to highlight. Some people like to underline, some people like to put shapes around them. And everything's got a three, I'm gonna do this, and then we've got the lonely constant, okay? And so when we write our final answer, we wanna go highest power to lowest power. So five B to the power of four, that's positive. Oops. Um, and then minus four B to the power of four is just simply gonna be B to the power of four. And then for my cubed, I've got negative two B cubed minus two B cubed, which is minus four B cubed. And then there's nothing squared, unless I wrote it down wrong. Um, so minus 5b minus 7b is minus 12b, and then minus b is minus 13b, and then you have this minus 4 at the end. Did that help, Mara? Okay, good. All right, so now let me do number 10. And then, Jennifer, if you have any questions, let me know which ones you want me to work out for, work out, okay? All right, so again, same idea here. We're just gonna rewrite these without parentheses. So there's nothing that changes in the front. In the middle section, we're gonna distribute just to those middle two. So it's gonna be minus eight plus three P because negative times negative is positive. And then here, we're gonna distribute the negative sign here. So that gives me minus one minus eight P plus six P cubed. All right, and so then, again, we're gonna go through, we're gonna look for the ones that have the same power. So I'm gonna highlight anything that has a power of one, I'm gonna highlight yellow. Um, any constant, I'm gonna highlight green. And then that just leaves me these two, which are to the power of three. So we're gonna go highest power to lowest power. So seven P cubed plus six P cubed is 13 P cubed. There's nothing squared. So now I have to the power of one. So five P plus eight P, I mean plus three P is eight P, minus eight P is zero. So that all canceled out. And then plus six minus eight is negative two, negative two minus one is minus three. So 13 P cubed minus three. What about that one, Mara? That's good, okay. Any others you want me to go over? Or Jennifer, do you have any that you want me to go over? Yep, I can definitely do number five. Let me just find it. All right, so here, same idea. Um, we're gonna rewrite it without parentheses. So that's three X minus eight X squared. And then I'm gonna distribute the negative sign here. So that gives me negative two X squared plus two X. And then I'm going to see what terms I have that are the same. And really these are the only ones that need to be combined. Because the other ones do not have any friends. So negative 8x squared minus 2x squared is negative 10x squared. Then this is a positive, so this will be plus 3x. 
and then plus 24. How did I get 24? I don't know where, oh, because your math teacher can't write and that's how I got it. Right, hold on a second. Let me go back and fix it because you're right, there should not. That should have been a 2x, which would totally change the answer. So hold on. Oh, goodness. Thank you for catching me. Okay, so let's try that again. So V, I did it again. What in the world? Going crazy, quarantine crazy. Okay, all right, so these are like terms and these are like terms. <laughs> okay, so negative eight x squared minus two x squared is negative 10 x squared and then positive three x plus two x is plus five x. Wow, good catch. Oh, that was Jennifer that pointed that out. Good job, Jennifer. All right, any others? Yep, definitely. All right, let me see. Okay, so let's see, number two. All right, so again, I'm gonna start by distributing. If you wanna get rid of the parentheses. So the first set of parentheses stays the same. I should change colors for this set. But okay. And then plus five a to the power of four minus a, because distributing a positive is not going to change the sign, right? So again, now we want to look for um, ones that have the same power. So starting with the higher power, 2a to the power of 4 plus 5a to the power of 4 is 7a to the power of 4, and then 5a minus 1a is 3a. That makes sense, Jennifer? Okay, good. Any others? Okay. I got a new from Mara. What about you, Jenny? Jennifer. I miss you too, Jennifer. Are you being a good big sister? Hugging that baby? Are you helping your mommy out? Good. Um, so I don't know when your next test is. That's a really good question. Um, because you know, next week's spring break, 
and you only have two more days of work here. Um, as far as a quiz, I don't know. We're going to do a graded assignment tomorrow on this. You're going to get a Google form to do. Um, so that's kind of like a quiz. I mean, it's in the same category. I don't, I don't know about a test. I don't even, just because we don't know about benchmarks and stuff yet. So we don't know. We're hoping that we find out soon what we're doing about benchmarks because, you know, we don't have the milestone anymore. And so, um, you know, we may end up just start studying for benchmarks. It might be, because we've pretty much covered everything for the year, because when after spring break, the plan was to start studying for the milestone. And polynomials, this is actually next year's stuff, just to kind of get you, not next year's stuff stuff, but just kind of a, Get you prepped for next year, but we thought we'd go ahead and do that now. We're kind of figuring what figuring out what's going on. So you could kind of say you have a quiz on this tomorrow. I've been okay. Getting a lot of things done around the house, cleaning and yard work. So that part's been nice. I hate not being able to go do things. That part kind of is a bummer. What about you? <laughs> 